hi guys hope you all doing well so here in this video we are going to analyze five standard mcqs on the most important topic phase rule so here i stress the word the most important why because we can see the frequent questions from phase rule in most of the chemistry related examinations that's why it is very very important and these five standard mcqs are posted on our community section of chemmaster official youtube channel where you can practice hundreds of high standard mcqs and you can get the detailed video analysis on each of five questions from a particular topic i hope this series will helpful for you in your learning and in your success so if you like this video click on like and do subscribe for more updates i my request is that watch the video completely to get the best uh, uh, analysis and uh, information from each and every question okay now just look at the first one here the degree of freedom of a solid sucrose in an equilibrium with an aqueous solution of sucrose is so we need to find a degree of freedom which is indicated with f okay so we have an equation to find degree of freedom as f equals to c minus p plus 2 whereas c indicating number of components okay so number of independent chemical species which are present in the given system now p indicating number of phases in a system okay so now you can see we have given that a solid sucrose which is in equilibrium with aqueous sucrose that is here we have two phases one is solid one is liquid phase so p equals to 2 now we need to find the number of components as we said number of components simply indicating the number of uh, chemical species the independent chemical species which are present in the system here we have water and sucrose okay so c equals to 2 now just substitute here in the equation f equals to 2 minus 2 plus 2 so we have 2 that means the degree of freedom is equals to 2 for a solid sucrose which is in equilibrium with an aqueous solution of sucrose okay so here my request is that just focus on understanding the wide definitions of phases and components and degree of freedom why because so many students gets confusion on finding or on deciding the number of components of a given system okay and most of the questions comes from that uh, finding on number of components okay right now just look at the second question uh, here we have given uh, three statements we need to pick the correct statements from them okay now just look at the first statement phase rule describes all the possible equilibrium states in a system is it correct or wrong it is absolutely wrong because phase rule only describes single okay just write one equilibrium in a system or we can say that phase rule describes single equilibrium systems only so if a system having more than one equilibrium a phase rule can only describes one equilibrium of that particular system so that's why statement a is the wrong one now just look at the second phase rule considers the amounts of chemical species in deciding the uh, in describing the system so the second statement is also wrong statement because phase rule only consider the phases but not amounts of a or the um, amounts of uh, chemical species which are present in the system okay so that's why here if a system is having a traces amounts of impurities okay if a system having trace amounts of impurities then they can alter the number of phases of a system and which leads to altering 
the degree of freedom of a particular system why because uh, the system is only considering the phases but not the amounts of the uh, amounts of the chemical species which are present in the uh, given system that's why we can say it is a, it is a limitation for phase rule okay so second statement is also wrong one now look at the third one phase rule indicates that different systems with same degree of freedom behave similarly so the third statement is the correct statement why because if the two systems for example x and y or having the degree of freedom as 3 then these two systems can behave similarly and uh, it is experimentally proved that's why we can say that the third statement is only the correct statement of the given question okay right now the fourth one here the number of phases in a system of what a third one here the number of phases in a system of water drop which is placed in a stoppered bottle is so here i am trying to draw a stoppered bottle so we have a lid okay right and we have given that the stoppered bottle is having a liquid drop in it so that's why we can say one phase is there and the remaining space of the stoppered bottle is occupied by gas so that's why we can say that the number of phases in a system of water drop which is placed in a stoppered bottle equals to two okay right the next question the important question the number of components in nacl kbr cesium iodide and h2o system so to find the number of components we can use an equation that is c equals to n minus e where n indicating number of possible chemical species okay chemical species in the given system whereas e indicating independent just write down independent equations relating their concentrations okay now i'm going to give the possible independent equations of the given system here you can write kcl plus nabr so here we can get kbr and nacl so you can write an equilibrium okay now the second possible uh, equation or reaction here kcl plus cesium iodide which can be in equilibrium with potassium iodide plus cesium chloride now third possible reaction or equation in a b or plus cesium iodide sodium iodide plus cesium bromide so these are the three independent equations or reactions which are possible for the given system okay so that's why e equals to three now try to find the number of uh, chemical species so kcl as one and nabr two kbr three and nacl four okay now kcl is already taken now cesium iodide five and potassium iodide six and cesium chloride seven nabr is already taken and cesium iodide already taken so sodium iodide eight and cesium bromide nine so in total nine species along with water okay so that's why the number of species present in the given system as a 10 now just substitute here c equals to 10 minus 3 so you can get 7 the number of components equals to 7 okay right the next question the degree of freedom of an aqueous solution of the weak acid hcn is so we can find the degree of freedom f equals to c minus p plus 2 minus e minus a here c indicating the number of chemical species uh, present in the system or possible in the system p is equals number of phases okay and e indicating number of independent chemical reactions or equations possible in the system and a indicating additional restrictions so some uh, difficult questions for uh, question for you now 
here try to find the number of chemical species or chemical species possible for the given aqueous solution of weak acid HCN now so aqueous solution that's why we can consider water now other one is HCN okay now we can also have the possibility of presence of ions as H plus OH minus and CN minus in the aqueous solution so total possible chemical species equals to 5 okay now you need to look at the number of uh, independent equations or reactions or pa reactions possible in the given system so you can write h2 which can be in equilibrium with its ions h plus and oh minus and here hcn can be in equilibrium with its ions h plus and uh, cn minus so that's why it's E equals to 2. So these two independent chemical equations or reactions are possible in the given system. Okay, right. And here you can see the number of phases. Here we have the number of phases as only one because the sol we have taken aqueous solution of the weak acid. So P equals to 1 only. Now we need to look at A. So, how A count for the degree of freedom? What are the additional restrictions or possible in the given system? So, we can see there is a possibility to the presence of ions. Okay. So, we can say that the number of H plus ions should be equals to sum of the number of anions. Here, Cn minus and OH minus. Okay. So we can count that by just dividing the total number of ions. So you can get the mole fraction. That is the mole fraction of uh, H plus should be equals to mole fraction of Cn minus plus mole fraction of OH minus. We know that the mole fraction should be equals to 1 from the total ions. So the restrictions, additional restrictions should be taken as 1. That means A equals to 1 now just substitute degree of freedom f equals to so the number of chemical species here 5 minus the number of phases equals to 1 plus 2 minus the number of independent chemical equations 2 minus the additional restriction as 1 so you can get the degree of freedom equals to 3 okay right i hope it uh, helpful for you and if you are interested you can also visit and join the website chemmasters.online for the best concept oriented online courses or you can also download the mobile app chemmasters from google play stores okay right thank you very much